So in this tutorial we're going to be doing the waffle stitch. Um, this is great for really thick warm blankets but it's also a really nice one for washcloths if you were using a cotton yarn. Um, I'm just using Karen Simply Soft today. Um, this particular shade is Country Peach. Um, I'm also going to be using the recommended 5mm hook. So to start with obviously we just want to create our foundation chain. Um, and the foundation chain needs to be done in multiples of three. So we're just going to do our slip knot to start. So you'll take your tail end and then wrap it around the top. And then you're just going to pull the back loop. And so we're ready to go for our foundation chain now. So like I say, any multiple of three. So you're just going to yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through and you're just going to chain whatever width you want your project to be. So what have I done now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to chain um, either 21 or 24. I've not decided yet. I'll see how long it looks when I get to it. So I'll just meet you back once you've done your chain. Okay, so I've completed my foundation chain now. I've actually ended up doing 24. Um, and whatever amount of chains you've done, um, you need to add an additional four chains to the end of your chain. So one, two, three and four. So you do your width that you want and then add four more chains. Now we're going to work back along our foundation chain now and we're going to be starting in the second chain from the hook. So this is number one. And then this one is your second and you're going to be doing trebles from now on. So remember that's a UK treble in the US this would be your double. So to do a treble you want to yarn over and we're going to insert into that second chain and then yarn over and pull up and you've now got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two and yarn over, pull through the last two. So that is your first treble. Then you're going to move on to the next stitch on your foundation chain and you're going to do a treble again. So yarn over and insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do this into every single chain on this foundation chain. So if you want to pause or rewind the video if you need to for your to know how to do your trebles, um, do that now and you're just going to do one treble into every single chain. So if you want to meet me when you've done that. So I've done a treble into every stitch along and now we're going to work on to row one of the pattern. And to do that you just want to chain one and then you're going to turn your work around. And then to start with we're going to be working into the base of where we've just come up from. So into this stitch here you're going to do a treble into the base of that stitch. And now we're going to start building the waffle pattern itself. So we're going to do a front post treble in the next stitch. So not this one here, it's going to be this stitch just here. And to do a front post treble you want to yarn over and then you're going to insert your hook behind that treble so that it pushes it forwards. And then you're going to yarn over and pull up so you've got your three loops like normal and then yarn over pull through two Oops. and yarn over pull through two and that will just pull your treble forwards so now we're going to move on to the next stitch and we're going to work into the tops of the next two stitches so you've done this treble here and then your next one that you're going to work will be here. And we're going to do a treble into the top of the next two. So when you go into the top, make sure you get the V across the top. And then complete your treble. So that's one. And then again into the next stitch. And that's two. And now we're going to pull the next treble forward. So you've worked into the top of this treble here. So this is the one that you want to pull forwards. And so we're going to yarn over and go behind that treble. 
yarn over and pull up and then complete your treble as normal and then again we're going to work into the tops of these next two trebles so yarn over insert into the top of the treble and complete your treble that's one and two and then again you want to do a front post treble so yarn over and you're going to go behind that next treble and then again you want to do two in the top of the next two stitches so that's one and then a treble into the top of the next two and then again you're going to do your front post treble here so yarn over and go behind the treble and then complete your treble so if you want to complete that and like I say rewind it if you if you need to um, and work you all the way along that foundation row that we created by doing your front post treble followed by two one treble in the next two stitches and then your front post treble so if you want to do that and then I will meet you when you get towards the end of your first row so I'm just nearing the end of this first row now um, I've done my front post treble followed by my two trebles in the top of the next two stitches and you can see now we're left with one obvious treble here and then the funny little it's almost it's almost like a treble and then a chain one but it's just like a funny little lump at the end there so we're going to do our half uh, sorry our front post treble around that last treble here that's really obvious because it it's just the same as all the others and then into this funny stitch at the end you're going to do a treble now there's no exact place that you would need to do this um, as long as you're catching the top but also near the front as well so I'm just going to go straight into the stitch there and then I'm going to just complete my treble and so that is the first part of your pattern you can see when I um, tilt it to the side that it's starting to build the waffle pattern so we're now going to move on to row 2 so to move on to row 2 you're going to chain 1 and then turn and we're going to do the treble into the base of where we've just come up from into the space here we're going to do a treble you're going to start with that every time the treble into the base of that stitch so now what we want to do it's almost opposite to what we were doing before we're going to treble into the ones where we did the front post stitches in the last row so you can see this very first treble here is where we did the front post one and it is pointing down towards my table so in that one we are just going to do a treble into the top of that stitch so a treble into the top of the front post treble from the last row and then you've got these two stitches here that are pointing more towards me they were the ones that we trebled into last row so they're now sticking out towards me and so this time we want to do a back post treble oh sorry a front post treble <laughs> around these two trebles so that's the first one and then around the second one remember you put your hook around the back And now we're back to the one that's facing down towards the table from the front post treble from last row. So we're going to treble into the top of that. And then again we've got our two that are pointing back towards me. So we're going to do front post trebles again around these two. So one and two. And then a treble into the top of the next stitch Just remember the one that's facing down towards the table and then front post trebles around the next two and you're going to carry that on 
all the way along this row. So if you want to pause here or rewind, then do so now, and I will meet you when you get back towards the end of this row. I'm just getting back towards the end of row two now, and I've just done two front post trebles. And now we've got that last front post treble from the last row that we need to do a treble into. Oops. And then you've just got that last little stitch here at the end and so into that one you just want to do one treble into the top of that last stitch and so now we're going to move on once more so we're going to chain one but that is basically your two row pattern repeat and um, so now we're going to go back to the way we started row one so like I say you can always rewind the video and go back to row one every time you need to um, and then do row one row two rewind and go back again um, but I will just show you very quickly um, just a reminder of row the repeat of row one so you're going to do the treble into that the base of that first stitch and we're back on the front side of our work now so we want to keep these trebles here sticking out so we want to do a front post treble. And then again we're going to work into the tops of the next two trebles. And then again a front post treble. and then in the tops of the next two stitches. But if you just want to carry on now doing your two row repeat and I will meet you back if you want to when you get to the other end of your project and I will just show you how to finish off um, so that you've got the same edge on both sides of your work. So I've just finished my last on a row two and then I've chained one and I'm going to turn and because I want my project to look the same at both ends I'm going to do a row of half trebles. Now I know we did a row of normal trebles at the beginning but because they get pulled up slightly when we do the um, front post trebles um, if I did a normal treble all the way along here they would be a little bit too long so it's a personal preference I just like to finish with a row of half trebles. So we're going to work into the base of that stitch as normal. Oops, my yarn split a little bit there. And then I'm going to go all the way along just with a row of half trebles. So one half treble, remember that's a UK half treble, into every stitch all the way along. And you don't have to do this, you can just finish on, on a waffle row, that's absolutely fine. But just as a personal preference, I like to just do a quick row of half trebles all the way along. And you can see, I just think it just gives it a nice finish because then your beginning row and your end row look pretty much the same. Not exactly the same, but very, very similar. <laughs> so I hope that you've enjoyed this waffle stitch tutorial. And if you have, then please just give me a really quick thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, just remember to click that subscribe button. Um, I do have loads more tutorials in the pipeline, so keep an eye out for those as well. But that's it for the waffle pattern. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon for another tutorial. But thanks for watching guys. Bye.